Ant-Man Quantumania is currently in production. The third film will of course take Ant-Man and the Wasp and put them face to face with the Quantum Realm and Kang the Conqueror. So how exactly is the film going to be? Well, it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. The script is great. Ant-Man Quantumania, the highly Ant-Man Quantumania, the somewhat most anticipated Ant-Man Quantumania, the next installment of the Ant-Man franchise is going to be really great, says a person that's in the film. Breaking news, I say. Breaking news. Okay, seriously though, it's fine. You, you guys know I love Ant-Man. I, I love Ant-Man and the Wasp. I, I absolutely love that film. Evangeline Lilly thinks she's perfect as Wasp. Can't wait to see more of her. I hope they just honestly make the film about her at this point, just because she's literally one of my favorites in the MCU. I want more of that character, more of her story, more of what she does. So, yeah, it's no surprise that Evangeline Lilly recently was in an interview and she was like, well, guess what? I've seen the script to Ant-Man 3, the film I'm currently shooting. It's great. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. If you want more things, if you want more Kang, more Quantum Realm, it's all here. It's going to be a great film. And people are like, hey, of course she has to say she's an actress in it. They're going to praise it. Yeah, yeah. no actor is going to come out there being like, you know what, that movie. F that movie. It's a piece of garbage. Don't go see it. No, that don't get them paid. I, I don't understand why people were like, of course she's got to say it. She's in the movie. Yeah, yeah, Ben Affleck said Batman v Superman was the greatest thing he's ever been in. And then, like, years after, he's like, man, that movie really just, oof, boy, did a number on me. I started drinking heavily again. PR talk is PR talk, but as somebody who really loves the Ant-Man franchise, specifically the second film, I cannot wait to see Quantumania. Can't wait to see more Wasp. Can't wait to see what they do. I'm excited that she's excited because she's teasing a bigger role than any other film, which, awesome. I can't wait to see what that's all about and what they're going to do. And just from the sounds of everything we've heard so far in relation to all the leaks, how they're going to use Kang, the Quantum Realm, the returning actors, new actors, how insane and size, scope, and concept, and the fact that they're using, you know, all the Mandalorian technology to make some of this a reality because they can't go to locations. It just sounds like this film was really going all out, and that's what I want. So, yeah, she's praising a film she's in. Oh no, she's doing what every actor does, but we just gotta, we gotta really focus on her doing it here because, um, hold on, let me check notes, um, if it ain't right, it ain't right, ah, oh, right, because it's not Edgar Wright, okay, makes sense, makes sense, cool, cool, I'm still salty about Edgar Wright, all right, cool, thanks, film Twitter. The same people who damned Marvel Studios because Scott Derrickson stepped away from Doctor Strange and he was a true visionary, but then decided to say, good, he's garbage when Sam Raimi signed on. Ironic, right? 